California is a state in the Pacific region of the United States. With 39.5 million residents, California is the most populous state in the United States and the third most extensive by area. The state capital is Sacramento. The Greater Los Angeles Area and the San Francisco Bay Area are the nation's second and fifth most populous urban regions, with 18.7 million and 8.8 .8 million residents respectively. Los Angeles is California's most populous city, and the country's second largest after New York City. California also has the nation's most populous county, Los Angeles County, its largest county by area. San Bernardino County, and its fifth most densely populated county, San Francisco. California's $2.717 trillion economy is larger than that of any other state. If it were a country, California would be the fifth largest economy in the world, and the 36th most populous. The Greater Los Angeles Area and the San Francisco Bay Area are the nation's second and third largest urban economies. The San Francisco Bay Area combined statistical area has the nation's highest GDP per capita, and is home to four of the world's ten largest companies by market capitalization and four of the world's ten richest people. California is considered a global trendsetter in popular culture, innovation, and politics. It is the origin of the film industry, the hippie counterculture, the internet, and the personal computer, among others. The San Francisco Bay Area and the Greater Los Angeles Area are widely seen as centers of the global technology and entertainment industries, respectively. California has a very diverse economy, 58% of the state's economy is centered on finance, government, real estate services, technology and professional, scientific and technical business services. Although it accounts for only 1.5% of the state's economy, California's agriculture industry has the highest output of any U.S. state. California borders Oregon the north, Nevada and Arizona to the east, and the Mexican state of Baja California to the south. The state's diverse geography ranges from the Pacific coast in the west to the Sierra Nevada mountain range in the east and from the Redwood Douglas fir forests in the northwest to the Mojave Desert in the southeast. The Central Valley, a major agricultural area, dominates the state's center. Though California is well known for its warm Mediterranean climate, the large size of the state results in climates that vary from moist temperate rainforest in the north to arid desert in the interior, as well as snowy alpine in the mountains. What is now California was first settled by various Native American tribes before being explored by a number of European expeditions during the 16th and 17th centuries. The Spanish Empire then claimed it as part of Alta California in their new Spain colony. The area became a part of Mexico in 1821 following its successful war for independence but was ceded to the United States in 1848 after the Mexican-American War. The western portion of Alta California then was organized and admitted as the 31st state on September 9, 1850. The California Gold Rush starting in 1848 led to dramatic social and demographic changes with large-scale emigration from the east and abroad with an accompanying economic boom. Etymology The word California originally referred to the Baja California Peninsula of Mexico, it was later extended to the entire region composed of the current United States states of California, Nevada, and Utah, and parts of Arizona, New Mexico, Texas, and Wyoming. The name California is surmised by some writers to have derived from the fictional paradise peopled by black Amazons and ruled by Queen Calafia, who fought alongside Muslims and whose name was chosen to echo the title of a Muslim leader, the Caliph, fictionally implying that California was the Caliphate. The story of Calafia is recorded in a 1510 work The Adventures of Esplandian, written as a sequel to Amadis de Gala by Spanish adventure writer Garci Rodriguez de Montalvo. The Kingdom of Queen Calafia, according to Montalvo, 
was said to be a remote land inhabited by griffins and other strange beasts, and rich in gold. Know ye that at the right hand of the Indies there is an island called California, very close to that part of the terrestrial paradise, which was inhabited by black women without a single man among them, and they lived in the manner of Amazons. They were robust of body with strong passionate hearts and great virtue. The island itself is one of the wildest in the world on account of the bold and craggy rocks. Chapter Clay I of the Adventures of Esplandian when Spanish explorer Francisco de Ulloa was exploring the western coast of North America, his initial surveys of the Baja California Peninsula led him to believe that it was an island rather than part of the larger continent, so he dubbed the island after the mythical island in Montalvo's writing. This conventional wisdom that California was an island, with maps drawn to reflect this belief, lasted as late as the 18th century. Shortened forms of the state's name include CA, Cal, California, and US CA. History The first inhabitants Settled by successive waves of arrivals during the last 10,000 years, although increasing numbers of pre-Clovis finds around the Americas indicates humans may have arrived up to 40,000 years earlier, California was one of the most culturally and linguistically diverse areas in pre-Columbian North America. Various estimates of the native population range from 100,000 to 300,000. The indigenous peoples of California included more than 70 distinct groups of Native Americans, ranging from large, settled populations living on the coast to groups in the interior. Most of these peoples were parts of larger ethno-linguistic groups spread across the modern Mexican U.S. border and California's borders with other states including speakers of uto aztecan Athabascan, and Salishan languages. California groups also were diverse in their political organization with bands, tribes, villages, and on the resource-rich coasts, large chiefdoms, such as the Chumash, Pomo, and Salinan. Trade, intermarriage, and military alliances fostered many social and economic relationships among the diverse groups. Colonial and Spanish Periods The first European effort to explore the coast as far north as the Russian River was a Spanish sailing expedition, led by Portuguese Captain Juan Rodriguez Cabrillo, in 1542. Some 37 years later English explorer Francis Drake also explored and claimed an undefined portion of the California coast in 1579. Spanish traders made unintended visits with the Manila galleons on their return trips from the Philippines beginning in 1565. The first Asians to set foot on what would be the United States occurred in 1587, when Filipino sailors arrived in Spanish ships at Moro Bay. Sebastian Vizcano explored and mapped the coast of California in 1602 for New Spain. Despite the on-the-ground explorations of California in the 16th century, Rodriguez's idea of California as an island persisted. That depiction appeared on many European maps well into the 18th century. After the Portola expedition of 1769-70, Spanish missionaries began setting up 21 California missions on or near the coast of Alta, Upper, California, beginning in San Diego. During the same period, Spanish military forces built several forts, presidios, and three small towns, pueblos. The San Francisco Mission grew into the city of San Francisco, and two of the pueblos grew into the cities of Los Angeles and San Jose. Several other smaller cities and towns also sprang up surrounding the various Spanish missions and pueblos, which remain to this day. The Spanish colonization began the genocide of the indigenous Californian peoples, decimating their numbers through epidemics of various diseases for which the indigenous peoples had no natural immunity, such as measles and diphtheria. The establishment of the Spanish systems of government and social structure, which the Spanish settlers had brought with them, also technologically and culturally overwhelmed the societies of the earlier indigenous peoples. During this same period, 
Russian ships also explored along the California coast and in 1812 established a trading post at Fort Ross. Russia's early 19th century coastal settlements in California were positioned just north of the northernmost edge of the area of Spanish settlement in San Francisco Bay, and were the southernmost Russian settlements in North America. The Russian settlements associated with Fort Ross were spread over an area stretching from Point Arena to Tamales Bay, California under Mexican rule. In 1821, the Mexican War of Independence gave Mexico, including California, independence from Spain. For the next 25 years, Alta California remained as a remote, sparsely populated, northwestern administrative district of the newly independent country of Mexico. Cattle ranches, or ranchos, emerged as the dominant institutions of Mexican California. Soon after Mexican independence from Spain, the chain of missions became the property of the Mexican government and was secularized by 1834. The ranchos developed under ownership by Californios, Spanish-speaking Californians, who had received land grants, and traded cowhides and tallow with Boston merchants. From the 1820s, trappers and settlers from the United States and the future Canada arrived in Northern California. These new arrivals used the Siskiyou Trail, California Trail, Oregon Trail, and Old Spanish Trail to cross the rugged mountains and harsh deserts in and surrounding California. The early government of the newly independent Mexico was highly unstable, and in a reflection of this, from 1831 onwards, California also experienced a series of armed disputes, both between regional areas, and also revolts against the central Mexican government. During this tumultuous political period Juan Bautista Alvarado was able to secure the governorship from 1836 to 1842. The military action which first brought Alvarado to power had momentarily declared California to be an independent state and had been aided by American and British residents of California, including Isaac Graham. In 1840, 100 of those residents who did not have passports were arrested, leading to the Graham Affair. One of the largest ranchers in California was John Marsh. After failing to obtain justice against squatters on his land from the Mexican courts, he determined that California should become part of the United States. Marsh conducted a letter-writing campaign espousing the California climate, soil, and other reasons to settle there, as well as the best route to follow, which became known as Marsh's Route. His letters were read, reread, passed around, and printed in newspapers throughout the country, and started the first wagon trains rolling to California. He invited immigrants to stay on his ranch until they could get settled and assisted in their obtaining passports. After ushering in the period of organized emigration to California, Marsh helped end the rule of the last Mexican governor of California, thereby paving the way to California's ultimate acquisition by the United States. California Republic and American Invasion In 1846, a group of American settlers in and around Sonoma rebelled against Mexican rule during the Bear Flag Revolt. Afterwards, rebels raised the Bear Flag, featuring a bear, a star, a red stripe and the words California Republic, at Sonoma. The Republic's only president was William B.I.D., who played a pivotal role during the Bear Flag Revolt. This revolt by American settlers served as a prelude to the later American military invasion of California, and was closely coordinated with nearby American military commanders. The California Republic was short-lived, the same year marked the outbreak of the Mexican-American War, 1846-48. When Commodore John D. Sloat of the United States Navy sailed into Monterey Bay and began the military occupation of California by the United States, Northern California capitulated in less than a month to the United States forces. After a series of defensive battles in Southern California, the Treaty of Cahuenga was signed by the Californios on January 13, 1847, 
securing American control in California. Early American Statehood Period Following the Treaty of Guadalupe Hidalgo, February 2, 1848, that ended the war, the westernmost portion of the old Mexican territory of Alta California soon became the American state of California, and the remainder of the old territory was then subdivided into the new American territories of Arizona, Nevada, Colorado, and Utah. The lightly populated and arid lower region of old Baja California remained as a part of Mexico. In 1846, the total settler population of the western part of the old Alta California had been estimated to be no more than 8,000, plus about 100,000 Native Americans, down from about 300,000 before Hispanic settlement in 1769. In 1848, only one week before the official American annexation of the area, gold was discovered in California this being an event which was to forever alter both the state's demographics and its finances. Soon afterward, a massive influx of immigration into the area resulted, as prospectors and miners arrived by the thousands. The population burgeoned with United States citizens, Europeans, Chinese and other immigrants during the Great California Gold Rush. By the time of California's application to the U.S. Congress for statehood in 1850, the settler population of California had multiplied to 100,000. By 1854 over 300,000 settlers had come. Between 1847 and 1870, the population of San Francisco increased from 500 to 150,000. California was suddenly no longer a sparsely populated backwater, but seemingly overnight it had grown into a major U.S. population center. The seat of government for California under Spanish and later Mexican rule had been located in Monterey from 1777 until 1845. P.I.O. Pico, last Mexican governor of Alta California had briefly moved the capital to Los Angeles in 1845. The United States Consulate had also been located in Monterey, under Consul Thomas O. Larkin. In 1849, a state constitutional convention was first held in Monterey. Among the first tasks of the convention was a decision on a location for the new state capital. The first full legislative sessions were held in San Jose, 1850-1851. Subsequent locations included Vallejo, 1852-1853, and nearby Benicia, 1853-1854. These locations eventually proved to be inadequate as well. The capital has been located in Sacramento since 1854 with only a short break in 1862 when legislative sessions were held in San Francisco due to flooding in Sacramento. Once the state's constitutional convention had finalized its state constitution, it applied to the U.S. Congress for admission to statehood. On September 9, 1850, as part of the Compromise of 1850, California was officially admitted into the United States as an undivided free state. Its status as a free state prevented the expansion of slavery to the Pacific Coast, which question was then a foremost concern for the pre-Civil War U.S. Congress. Within the state of California, September 9 remains as an annually celebrated legal holiday known as California Admission Day. During the American Civil War, 1861-1865, California was able to send gold shipments eastwards to Washington in support of the Union cause, however due to the existence of a large contingent of pro-South sympathizers within the state, the state was not able to muster any full military regiments to send eastwards to officially serve in the Union war effort. Still, Several smaller military units within the Union Army were unofficially associated with the state of California, such as the California 100 Company, due to a majority of their members being from California. At the time of California's admission into the Union, 
travel between California and the rest of the continental United States had been a time-consuming and dangerous feat 19 years afterwards, in 1869, shortly after the conclusion of the Civil War, a more direct connection was developed with the completion of the first transcontinental railroad at Promontory Summit, Utah. Once completed, hundreds of thousands of United States citizens were enabled to easily migrate westwards into the state. Upon their arrival in California, the new Californians were able to discover that if irrigated during the dry summer months, that much of California was extremely well suited to fruit cultivation and agriculture in general. Vast expanses of wheat, other cereal crops, vegetable crops, cotton and nut and fruit trees were grown, including oranges in Southern California, and the foundation was laid for the state's prodigious agricultural production in the Central Valley and elsewhere. Indigenous Peoples Under Early American Administration under earlier Spanish and Mexican rule, California's original native population had precipitously declined, above all, from Eurasian diseases to which the indigenous people of California had not yet developed a natural immunity. Under its new American administration, California's harsh governmental policies towards its own indigenous people did not improve. As in other American states, many of the native inhabitants were soon forcibly removed from their lands by incoming American settlers such as miners, ranchers, and farmers. Although California had entered the American Union as a free state, the loitering or orphaned Indians were de facto enslaved by their new Anglo-American masters under the 1853 Act for the Government and Protection of Indians. There were also massacres in which hundreds of indigenous people were killed. Between 1850 and 1860, the California state government paid around $1.5 million, some 250,000 of which was reimbursed by the federal government, to hire militias whose purpose was to protect settlers from the indigenous populations. In later decades, the native population was placed in reservations and rancherias which were often small and isolated and without enough natural resources or funding from the government to sustain the populations living on them. As a result, the rise of California was a calamity for the native inhabitants. Several scholars and Native American activists, including Benjamin Madley and Ed Castillo, have described the actions of the California government as a genocide. 20th Century Migration to California accelerated during the early 20th century with the completion of major transcontinental highways like the Lincoln Highway and Route 66. In the period from 1900 to 1965, the population grew from fewer than 1 million to become the most populous state in the Union. In 1940, the Census Bureau reported California's population as 6.0% Hispanic, 2.4% Asian, and 89.5% non-Hispanic white. To meet the population's needs, major engineering feats like the California and Los Angeles aqueducts, the Oroville and Shasta dams, and the Bay and Golden Gate bridges were built across the state. The state government also adopted the California Master Plan for Higher Education in 1960 to develop a highly efficient system of public education. Meanwhile, attracted to the mild Mediterranean climate, cheap land, and the state's wide variety of geography, filmmakers established the studio system in Hollywood in the 1920s. California manufactured 8.7% of total United States military armaments produced during World War II, ranking third, behind New York and Michigan, among the 48 states. California however easily ranked first, in production of military ships during the war, transport, cargo, such as Liberty ships, Victory ships, and warships, at dry dock facilities in San Diego, Los Angeles, and the San Francisco Bay Area. After World War II, California's economy greatly expanded due to strong aerospace and defense industries, whose size decreased following the end of the Cold War. 
Stanford University and its Dean of Engineering Frederick Terman began encouraging faculty and graduates to stay in California instead of leaving the state, and develop a high-tech region in the area now known as Silicon Valley. As a result of these efforts, California is regarded as a world center of the entertainment and music industries, of technology, engineering, and the aerospace industry, and as the United States Center of Agricultural Production. Just before the dot-com bust California had the fifth largest economy in the world among nations. Yet since 1991, and starting in the late 1980s in Southern California, California has seen a net loss of domestic migrants most years. This is often referred to by the media as the California Exodus. During the 20th century, two great disasters happened in California. The 1906 San Francisco earthquake and 1928 St. Francis Dam flood remain the deadliest in U.S. history. Geography California is the third largest state in the United States in area, after Alaska and Texas. California is often geographically bisected into two regions, Southern California, comprising the ten southernmost counties, and Northern California, comprising the 48 northernmost counties. It is bordered by Oregon to the north, Nevada to the east and northeast, Arizona to the southeast, the Pacific Ocean to the west and it shares an international border with the Mexican state of Baja California to the south. In the middle of the state lies the California Central Valley, bounded by the Sierra Nevada in the east, the coastal mountain ranges in the west, the Cascade Range to the north and by the Tehachapi Mountains in the south. The Central Valley is California's productive agricultural heartland. Divided in two by the Sacramento-San Joaquin River Delta, the northern portion, the Sacramento Valley serves as the watershed of the Sacramento River, while the southern portion, the San Joaquin Valley is the watershed for the San Joaquin River. Both valleys derive their names from the rivers that flow through them. With dredging, the Sacramento and the San Joaquin Rivers have remained deep enough for several inland cities to be seaports. The Sacramento-San Joaquin River Delta is a critical water supply hub for the state. Water is diverted from the delta and through an extensive network of pumps and canals that traverse nearly the length of the state, to the Central Valley and the state water projects and other needs. Water from the delta provides drinking water for nearly 23 million people, almost two-thirds of the state's population as well as water for farmers on the west side of the San Joaquin Valley. Sassoon Bay lies at the confluence of the Sacramento and San Joaquin Rivers. The water is drained by the Carquinez Strait, which flows into San Pablo Bay, a northern extension of San Francisco Bay, which then connects to the Pacific Ocean via the Golden Gate Strait. The Channel Islands are located off the southern coast, while the Farallon Islands lie west of San Francisco. The Sierra Nevada, Spanish for Snowy Range, includes the highest peak in the contiguous 48 states, Mount Whitney, at 14,505 feet, 4,421 m. The range embraces Yosemite Valley, famous for its glacially carved domes, and Sequoia National Park, home to the giant sequoia trees, the largest living organisms on Earth, and the deep freshwater lake, Lake Tahoe the largest lake in the state by volume. To the east of the Sierra Nevada are Owens Valley and Mono Lake, an essential migratory bird habitat. In the western part of the state is Clear Lake, the largest freshwater lake by area entirely in California. Though Lake Tahoe is larger, it is divided by the California-Nevada border. The Sierra Nevada falls to Arctic temperatures in winter and has several dozen small glaciers, including Palisade Glacier, the southernmost glacier in the United States. About 45% of the state's total surface area is covered by forests, and California's diversity of pine species is unmatched by any other state. California contains more forest land than any other state except Alaska. Many of the trees in the California White Mountains are the oldest in the world, 
an individual bristlecone pine is over 5,000 years old. In the south is a large inland salt lake, the Salton Sea. The south central desert is called the Mojave, to the northeast of the Mojave lies Death Valley, which contains the lowest and hottest place in North America, the Badwater Basin at 279 feet, 85 m. The horizontal distance from the bottom of Death Valley to the top of Mount Whitney is less than 90 miles, 140 kilometers. Indeed, almost all of southeastern California is arid, hot desert, with routine extreme high temperatures during the summer. The southeastern border of California with Arizona is entirely formed by the Colorado River, from which the southern part of the state gets about half of its water. A majority of California's cities are located in either the San Francisco Bay Area or the Sacramento Metropolitan Area in Northern California, or the Los Angeles Area, the Riverside San Bernardino Inland Empire, or the San Diego Metropolitan Area in Southern California. The Los Angeles Area, the Bay Area, and the San Diego Metropolitan Area are among several major metropolitan areas along the California coast. As part of the Ring of Fire, California is subject to tsunamis, floods, droughts, Santa Ana winds, wildfires, landslides on steep terrain, and has several volcanoes. It has many earthquakes due to several faults running through the state, in particular, the San Andreas Fault. About 37,000 earthquakes are recorded each year, but most are too small to be felt. Climate Although most of the state has a Mediterranean climate, due to the state's large size, the climate ranges from subarctic to subtropical. The cool California current offshore often creates summer fog near the coast. Farther inland, there are colder winters and hotter summers. The maritime moderation results in the shoreline summertime temperatures of Los Angeles and San Francisco being the coolest of all major metropolitan areas of the United States and uniquely cool compared to areas on the same latitude in the interior and on the east coast of the North American continent. Even the San Diego shoreline bordering Mexico is cooler in summer than most areas in the contiguous United States. Just a few miles inland summer temperature extremes are significantly higher, with downtown Los Angeles being several degrees warmer than at the coast. The same microclimate phenomenon is seen in the climate of the Bay Area, where areas sheltered from the sea experience significantly hotter summers than nearby areas that are close to the ocean. Northern parts of the state have more rain than the south. California's mountain ranges also influence the climate. Some of the rainiest parts of the state are west-facing mountain slopes. Northwestern California has a temperate climate, and the Central Valley has a Mediterranean climate but with greater temperature extremes than the coast. The high mountains, including the Sierra Nevada, have an alpine climate with snow in winter and mild to moderate heat in summer. California's mountains produce rain shadows on the eastern side, creating extensive deserts. The higher elevation deserts of eastern California have hot summers and cold winters, while the low deserts east of the southern California mountains have hot summers and nearly frostless mild winters. Death Valley, a desert with large expanses below sea level, is considered the hottest location in the world, the highest temperature in the world, 134 degrees Fahrenheit, 56.7 degrees Celsius was recorded there on July 10, 1913. The lowest temperature in California was 45 degree F, 43 degree C, in 1937 in Boca. The table below lists average temperatures for August and December in a selection of places throughout the state, some highly populated and some not. This includes the relatively cool summers of the Humboldt Bay region around Eureka the extreme heat of Death Valley, and the mountain climate of Mammoth in the Sierra Nevadas. Ecology California is one of the richest and most diverse parts of the world, and includes some of the most endangered ecological communities. 
California is part of the Nearctic Ecozone and spans a number of terrestrial ecorjuns. California's large number of endemic species includes relict species, which have died out elsewhere, such as the Catalina ironwood, Lionutumnus floribundus. Many other endemics originated through differentiation or adaptive radiation, whereby multiple species develop from a common ancestor to take advantage of diverse ecological conditions such as the California lilac, Ceanothus. Many California endemics have become endangered, as urbanization, logging, overgrazing, and the introduction of exotic species have encroached on their habitat. Flora and Fauna California boasts several superlatives in its collection of flora, the largest trees, the tallest trees, and the oldest trees. California's native grasses are perennial plants. After European contact, these were generally replaced by invasive species of European annual grasses, and, in modern times, California's hills turn a characteristic golden brown in summer. Because California has the greatest diversity of climate and terrain, the state has six life zones which are the Lower Sonoran, Desert, Upper Sonoran, Foothill regions and some coastal lands, Transition, Coastal areas and moist northeastern counties, and the Canadian, Hudsonian and Arctic zones, comprising the state's highest elevations. Plant life in the dry climate of the lower Sonoran zone contains a diversity of native cactus, mesquite, and palo verde. The Joshua tree is English used in other regions of the United States. Culture The culture of California is a Western culture and most clearly has its modern roots in the culture of the United States, but also, historically, many Hispanic influences. As a border and coastal state, Californian culture has been greatly influenced by several large immigrant populations, especially those from Latin America and Asia. California has long been a subject of interest in the public mind and has often been promoted by its boosters as a kind of paradise. In the early 20th century, fueled by the efforts of state and local boosters, many Americans saw the Golden State as an ideal resort destination sunny and dry all year round with easy access to the ocean and mountains. In the 1960s, popular music groups such as the Beach Boys promoted the image of Californians as laid-back, tanned beachgoers. The California gold rush of the 1850s is still seen as a symbol of California's economic style, which tends to generate technology, social, entertainment, and economic fads and booms and related busts. Religion The largest religious denominations by number of adherents as a percentage of California's population in 2014 were the Catholic Church with 28%, Evangelical Protestants with 20%, and Mainline Protestants with 10%. Together, all kinds of Protestants accounted for 32%. Those unaffiliated with any religion represented 27% of the population. The breakdown of other religions is 1% Muslim, 2% Hindu, and 2% Buddhist. This is a change from 2008, when the population identified their religion with the Catholic Church with 31%, Evangelical Protestants with 18%, and Mainline Protestants with 14%. In 2008, those unaffiliated with any religion represented 21% of the population. The breakdown of other religions in 2008 was 0.5% Muslim, 1% Hindu, and 2% Buddhist. The American Jewish Yearbook placed the total Jewish population of California at about 1,194,190 in 2006. According to the Association of Religion Data Archives, ARDA, the largest denominations by adherents in 2010 were the Roman Catholic Church with 10,233,334, the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints with 763,818, and the Southern Baptist Convention with 489,953. 
The first priests to come to California were Roman Catholic missionaries from Spain. Roman Catholics founded 21 missions along the California coast, as well as the cities of Los Angeles and San Francisco. California continues to have a large Roman Catholic population due to the large numbers of Mexicans and Central Americans living within its borders. California has 12 dioceses and two archdioceses, the Archdiocese of Los Angeles and the Archdiocese of San Francisco, the former being the largest archdiocese in the United States. A Pew Research Center survey revealed that California is somewhat less religious than the rest of the U.S., 62% of Californians say they are absolutely certain of their belief in God, while in the nation 71% say so. The survey also revealed 48% of Californians say religion is very important, compared to 56% nationally. Sports California has 20 major professional sports league franchises, far more than any other state. The San Francisco Bay Area has seven major league teams spread in its three major cities, San Francisco, San Jose, and Oakland. While the greater Los Angeles area is home to ten major league franchises, San Diego and Sacramento each have one major league team. The NFL Super Bowl has been hosted in California 11 times at four different stadiums, Los Angeles Memorial Coliseum, the Rose Bowl, Stanford Stadium, and San Diego's Qualcomm Stadium. A twelfth, Super Bowl 50, was held at Levi's Stadium in Santa Clara on February 7, 2016. California has long had many respected collegiate sports programs. California is home to the oldest college bowl game, the annual Rose Bowl, among others. California is the only U.S. state to have hosted both the Summer and Winter Olympics. The 1932 and 1984 Summer Olympics were held in Los Angeles. Squaw Valley Ski Resort in the Lake Tahoe region hosted the 1960 Winter Olympics. Los Angeles will host the 2028 Summer Olympics, marking the fourth time California hosts the Olympic Games. Multiple games during the 1994 FIFA World Cup took place in California, with the Rose Bowl hosting eight matches including the final, while Stanford Stadium hosted six matches. Below is a list of major league sports teams in California. Team Sport League Los Angeles Rams American Football National Football League, NFL Oakland Raiders American Football National Football League Los Angeles Chargers American Football National Football League San Francisco 49ERS American Football National Football League Los Angeles Dodgers Baseball Major League Baseball, MLB Los Angeles Angels of Anaheim Baseball Major League Baseball Oakland Athletics Baseball Major League Baseball San Diego Padres Baseball Major League Baseball San Francisco Giants Baseball Major League Baseball Golden State Warriors Basketball National Basketball Association, NBA Los Angeles Clippers Basketball National Basketball Association Los Angeles Lakers Basketball National Basketball Association Sacramento Kings Basketball National Basketball Association Los Angeles Sparks Basketball Women's National Basketball Association, WNBA Anaheim Ducks Ice Hockey National Hockey League, NHL Los Angeles Kings Ice Hockey National Hockey League San Jose Sharks Ice Hockey National Hockey League Los Angeles Galaxy Soccer Major League Soccer, MLS San Jose Earthquakes Soccer Major League Soccer Los Angeles Football Club Soccer Major League Soccer Education Public secondary education consists of high schools that teach elective courses in trades, languages, and liberal arts with tracks for gifted, college-bound and industrial arts students. 
California's public educational system is supported by a unique constitutional amendment that requires a minimum annual funding level for grades K-12 and community colleges that grow with the economy and student enrollment figures. California had over 6.2 million school students in the 2005-06 school year. Funding and staffing levels in California schools lag behind other states. In expenditure per pupil, California ranked 29th, of the 50 states and the District of Columbia, in 2005-06. In teaching staff expenditure per pupil, California ranked 49th of 51. In overall teacher-pupil ratio, California was also 49th, with 21 students per teacher. Only Arizona and Utah were lower. A 2007 study concluded that California's public school system was broken in that it suffered from over-regulation. California's public post-secondary education offers three separate systems. The research university system in the state is the University of California, UC, a public university system. As of fall 2011, the University of California had a combined student body of 234,464 students. There are 10 general UC campuses, and a number of specialized campuses in the UC system, as the UC San Francisco, which is entirely dedicated to graduate education in health care, and is home to the UCSF Medical Center, the highest-ranked hospital in California. The system was originally intended to accept the top one-eighth of California high school students, but several of the schools have become even more selective. The UC system was originally given exclusive authority in awarding Ph.D.S., but this has since changed and the CSU is also able to award several doctoral degrees. The California State University CSU, system has almost 430,000 students. The CSU was originally intended to accept the top one-third of California high school students, but several of the schools have become much more selective. The CSU was originally set up to award only bachelor's and master's degrees, but has since been granted the authority to award several doctoral degrees. The California Community Colleges system provides lower division coursework as well as basic skills and workforce training. It is the largest network of higher education in the U.S., composed of 112 colleges serving a student population of over 2.6 million. California is also home to such notable private universities as Stanford University, the University of Southern California, the California Institute of Technology, and the Claremont Colleges. California has hundreds of other private colleges and universities including many religious and special-purpose institutions. Twin Region California has a twinning arrangement with the region of Catalonia in Spain. Catalonia is made up of four Spanish provinces, Barcelona, Girona, Lida, and Tarragona. Economy The economy of California is large enough to be comparable to that of the largest of countries. As of 2016, the gross state product, GSP, is about $2.514 trillion, the largest in the United States. California is responsible for 13.9% of the United States' approximate $18.1 trillion gross domestic product, GDP. California's GSP is larger than the GDP of all but five countries in dollar terms, the United States, China, Japan, Germany, and the United Kingdom larger than Brazil, France, Russia, Italy, India, Canada, Australia, Spain, and Turkey. In purchasing power parity, it is larger than all but 10 countries, the United States, China, India, Japan, Germany, Russia, Brazil, France, the United Kingdom, and Indonesia, larger than Italy, Mexico, Spain, South Korea, Saudi Arabia, Canada, and Turkey. The five largest sectors of employment in California are trade, transportation, and utilities, government, professional and business services, 
education and health services, and leisure and hospitality. In output, the five largest sectors are financial services, followed by trade, transportation, and utilities, education and health services, government, and manufacturing. As of September 2016, California has an unemployment rate of 5.5%. California's economy is dependent on trade and international related commerce accounts for about one quarter of the state's economy. In 2008, California exported $144 billion worth of goods, up from $134 billion in 2007 and $127 billion in 2006. Computers and electronic products are California's top export, accounting for 42% of all the state's exports in 2008. Agriculture is an important sector in California's economy. Farming-related sales more than quadrupled over the past three decades, from $7.3 billion in 1974 to nearly $31 billion in 2004. This increase has occurred despite a 15% decline in acreage devoted to farming during the period, and water supply suffering from chronic instability. Factors contributing to the growth in sales per acre include more intensive use of active farmlands and technological improvements in crop production. In 2008, California's 81,500 farms and ranches generated $36.2 billion products revenue. In 2011, that number grew to $43.5 billion products revenue. The agriculture sector accounts for 2% of the state's GDP and employs around 3% of its total workforce. According to the USDA in 2011, the three largest California agricultural products by value were milk and cream, shelled almonds, and grapes. Per capita GDP in 2007 was $38,956, ranking 11th in the nation. Per capita income varies widely by geographic region and profession. The Central Valley is the most impoverished, with migrant farm workers making less than minimum wage. According to a 2005 report by the Congressional Research Service, the San Joaquin Valley was characterized as one of the most economically depressed regions in the United States, on PAR with the region of Appalachia. California has a poverty rate of 23.5%, the highest of any state in the country. Many coastal cities include some of the wealthiest per capita areas in the United States. The high technology sectors in Northern California, specifically Silicon Valley, in Santa Clara and San Mateo counties, have emerged from the economic downturn caused by the dot-com bust. In 2010, there were more than 663,000 millionaires in the state, more than any other state in the nation. In 2010, California residents were ranked first among the states with the best average credit score of 754. State Finances State spending increased from $56 billion in 1998 to $127 billion in 2011. California, with 12% of the United States population, has one-third of the nation's welfare recipients. California has the third highest per capita spending on welfare among the states, as well as the highest spending on welfare at $6.67 billion. In January 2011 the California's total debt was at least $265 billion. On June 27, 2013, Governor Jerry Brown signed a balanced budget, no deficit, for the state, its first in decades, however the state's debt remains at $132 billion. With the passage of Proposition 30 in 2012, California now levies a 13.3% maximum marginal income tax rate with 10 tax brackets, ranging from 1% at the bottom tax bracket of $0 annual individual income to 13.3% for annual individual income over $1 million. California has a state sales tax of 7.5%, 
though local governments can and do levy additional sales taxes. Many of these taxes are temporary for a seven-year period, as stipulated in Proposition 30, and afterwards will revert to a previous maximum marginal income tax bracket of 10.3% and state sales tax rate of 7.25%. All real property is taxable annually, the tax is based on the property's fair market value at the time of purchase or new construction. Property tax increases are kept at 2% per year. See Proposition 13. Infrastructure. Energy. Because it is the most populous United States state, California is one of the country's largest users of energy. However because of its high energy rates, conservation mandates, mild weather in the largest population centers and strong environmental movement, its per capita energy use is one of the smallest of any United States state. Due to the high electricity demand, California imports more electricity than any other state, primarily hydroelectric power from states in the Pacific Northwest, via Path 15 and Path 66, and coal and natural gas-fired production from the desert southwest via Path 46. As a result of the state's strong environmental movement, California has some of the most aggressive renewable energy goals in the United States with the target for California to obtain a third of its electricity from renewables by 2020. Currently, several solar power plants such as the Solar Energy Generating Systems Facility are located in the Mojave Desert. California's wind farms include Altamont Pass, San Gorgonio Pass, and Tehachapi Pass. Several dams across the state provide hydroelectric power. It would be possible to convert the total supply to 100% renewable energy, including heating, cooling and mobility, by 2050. The state's crude oil and natural gas deposits are located in the Central Valley and along the coast, including the large Midway Sunset oil field. Natural gas-fired power plants typically account for more than one-half of state electricity generation. California is also home to two major nuclear power plants, Diablo Canyon and San Onofre, the latter having been shut down in 2013. Voters banned the approval of new nuclear power plants since the late 1970s because of concerns over radioactive waste disposal. In addition, several cities such as Oakland, Berkeley and Davis have declared themselves as nuclear-free zones. Transportation California's vast terrain is connected by an extensive system of controlled access highways, freeways, limited access roads, expressways, and highways. California is known for its car culture, giving California's cities a reputation for severe traffic congestion. Construction and maintenance of state roads and statewide transportation planning are primarily the responsibility of the California Department of Transportation, nicknamed Caltrans. The rapidly growing population of the state is straining all of its transportation networks, and California has some of the worst roads in the United States. The Reason Foundation's 19th Annual Report on the Performance of State Highway Systems ranked California's highways the third worst of any state, with Alaska second, and Rhode Island first. The state has been a pioneer in road construction. One of the state's more visible landmarks, the Golden Gate Bridge, was once the longest suspension bridge main span in the world at 4,200 feet, 1,300 m when it opened in 1937. With its orange paint and panoramic views of the bay, this highway bridge is a popular tourist attraction and also accommodates pedestrians and bicyclists. The San Francisco-Oakland Bay Bridge, often abbreviated the Bay Bridge, completed in 1936, transports about 280,000 vehicles per day on two decks. Its two sections meet at Yerba Buena Island through the world's largest diameter transportation bore tunnel, at 76 feet, 23 m, wide by 58 feet, 18 m, high. The Arroyo Seco Parkway, connecting Los Angeles and Pasadena, 
opened in 1940 as the first freeway in the western United States. It was later extended south to the four-level interchange in downtown Los Angeles, regarded as the first stack interchange ever built. Los Angeles International Airport, LAX, the sixth busiest airport in the world, and San Francisco International Airport, SFO, the 23rd busiest airport in the world, are major hubs for trans-Pacific and transcontinental traffic. There are about a dozen important commercial airports and many more general aviation airports throughout the state. California also has several important seaports. The giant seaport complex formed by the Port of Los Angeles and the Port of Long Beach in Southern California is the largest in the country and responsible for handling about a fourth of all container cargo traffic in the United States. The Port of Oakland, fourth largest in the nation, also handles trade entering from the Pacific Rim to the rest of the country. The Port of Stockton is the easternmost port on the west coast of the United States. The California Highway Patrol is the largest statewide police agency in the United States in employment with over 10,000 employees. They are responsible for providing any police-sanctioned service to anyone on California's state-maintained highways and on state property. The California Department of Motor Vehicles is by far the largest in North America. By the end of 2009, the California DMV had 26,555,006 driver's licenses and ID cards on file. In 2010, there were 1.17 million new vehicle registrations in force. Intercity rail travel is provided by Amtrak California, the three routes, the Capital Corridor, Pacific Safliner, and San Joaquin, are funded by Caltrans. These services are the busiest intercity rail lines in the United States outside the Northeast Corridor and ridership is continuing to set records. The routes are becoming increasingly popular over flying, especially on the LAX SFO route. Integrated subway and light rail networks are found in Los Angeles, Metro Rail, and San Francisco, Muni Metro. Light rail systems are also found in San Jose, VTA, San Diego, San Diego Trolley, Sacramento, RT Light Rail, and Northern San Diego County, Sprinter. Furthermore, commuter rail networks serve the San Francisco Bay Area, ACE, BART, Caltrain, Smart, Greater Los Angeles, Metrolink, and San Diego County, Coaster. The California High Speed Rail Authority was created in 1996 by the state to implement an extensive 800-mile, 1,300 kilometers, rail system. Construction was approved by the voters during the November 2008 general election, with the first phase of construction estimated to cost $64.2 billion. Nearly all counties operate bus lines and many cities operate their own city bus lines as well. Intercity bus travel is provided by Greyhound, Megabus, and Amtrak Thruway Motor Coach. Water California's interconnected water system is the world's largest, managing over 40 million acre-feet, 49 cubic kilometers, of water per year, centered on six main systems of aqueducts and infrastructure projects. Water use and conservation in California is a politically divisive issue, as the state experiences periodic droughts and has to balance the demands of its large agricultural and urban sectors, especially in the arid southern portion of the state. The state's widespread redistribution of water also invites the frequent scorn of environmentalists. The California Water Wars, a conflict between Los Angeles and the Owens Valley over water rights, is one of the most well-known examples of the struggle to secure adequate water supplies. Former California Governor Arnold Schwarzenegger said, We've been in crisis for quite some time because we're now 38 million people and not any more 18 million people like we were in the late 60s. So it developed into a battle between environmentalists and farmers and between the South and the North and between rural and urban and everyone has been fighting for the last four decades about water. 
Government and Politics State Government The state's capital is Sacramento. California is organized into three branches of government the executive branch consisting of the governor and the other independently elected constitutional officers, the legislative branch consisting of the Assembly and Senate, and the judicial branch consisting of the Supreme Court of California and lower courts. The state also allows ballot propositions, direct participation of the electorate by initiative, referendum, recall, and ratification. Before the passage of California Proposition 14, 2010, California allowed each political party to choose whether to have a closed primary or a primary where only party members and independents vote. After June 8, 2010, when Proposition 14 was approved, accepting only the United States President and County Central Committee offices, all candidates in the primary elections are listed on the ballot with their preferred party affiliation, but they are not the official nominee of that party. At the primary election, the two candidates with the top votes will advance to the general election regardless of party affiliation. If at a special primary election, one candidate receives more than 50% of all the votes cast, they are elected to fill the vacancy and no special general election will be held. Executive Branch The California Executive Branch consists of the Governor of California and seven other elected constitutional officers, Lieutenant Governor, Attorney General, Secretary of State, State Controller, State Treasurer, Insurance Commissioner, and State Superintendent of Public Instruction. They serve four-year terms and may be re-elected only once. Legislative Branch the California State Legislature consists of a 40-member Senate and 80-member Assembly. Senators serve four-year terms and Assembly members too. Members of the Assembly are subject to term limits of three terms, and members of the Senate are subject to term limits of two terms. Judicial Branch California's legal system is explicitly based upon English common law, as is the case with all other states except Louisiana but carries a few features from Spanish civil law, such as community property. California's prison population grew from 25,000 in 1980 to over 170,000 in 2007. Capital punishment is a legal form of punishment and the state has the largest death row population in the country, though Oklahoma and Texas are far more active in carrying out executions. California's judiciary system is the largest in the United States, with a total of 1,600 judges, while the federal system has only about 840. At the apex is the seven justices of the Supreme Court of California, while the California Courts of Appeal serve as the primary appellate courts and the California Superior Courts serve as the primary trial courts. Justices of the Supreme Court and Courts of Appeal are appointed by the governor, but are subject to retention by the electorate every 12 years. The administration of the state's court system is controlled by the Judicial Council, composed of the Chief Justice of the California Supreme Court, 14 judicial officers, 4 representatives from the State Bar of California, and 1 member from each house of the state legislature. Local Government Counties. California is divided into 58 counties. Per Article 11, Section 1, of the Constitution of California, they are the legal subdivisions of the state. The county government provides countywide services such as law enforcement, jails, elections and voter registration, vital records, property assessment and records, tax collection, public health, health care social services, libraries, flood control, fire protection, animal control, agricultural regulations, building inspections, ambulance services, and education departments in charge of maintaining statewide standards. In addition, the county serves as the local government for all unincorporated areas. Each county is governed by an elected board of supervisors. City and Town Governments 
Incorporated cities and towns in California are either charter or general law municipalities. General law municipalities owe their existence to state law and are consequently governed by it. Charter municipalities are governed by their own city or town charters. Municipalities incorporated in the 19th century tend to be charter municipalities. All ten of the state's most populous cities are charter cities. Most small cities have a council manager form of government, where the elected city council appoints a city manager to supervise the operations of the city. Some larger cities have a directly elected mayor who oversees the city government. In many council manager cities, the city council selects one of its members as a mayor, sometimes rotating through the council membership but this type of mayoral position is primarily ceremonial. The government of San Francisco is the only consolidated city-county in California, where both the city and county governments have been merged into one unified jurisdiction. The San Francisco Board of Supervisors also acts as the city council and the mayor of San Francisco also serves as the county administrative officer. School Districts and Special Districts About 1,102 school districts, independent of cities and counties, handle California's public education. California school districts may be organized as elementary districts, high school districts, unified school districts combining elementary and high school grades, or community college districts. There are about 3,400 special districts in California. A special district, defined by California Government Code 16271, d, as any agency of the state for the local performance of governmental or proprietary functions within limited boundaries, provides a limited range of services within a defined geographic area. The geographic area of a special district can spread across multiple cities or counties, or could consist of only a portion of one. Most of California's special districts are single-purpose districts, and provide one service. Federal Representation The state of California sends 53 members to the House of Representatives, the nation's largest congressional state delegation. Consequently California also has the largest number of electoral votes in national presidential elections, with 55. California's U.S. Senators are Dianne Feinstein, a native and former mayor of San Francisco, and Kamala Harris, a native, former district attorney from San Francisco and former Attorney General of California. In 1992, California became the first state to have a Senate delegation entirely composed of women. Armed Forces In California, as of 2009, the U.S. Department of Defense had a total of 117,806 active duty service members of which 88,370 were sailors or marines, 18,339 were airmen, and 11,097 were soldiers, with 61,365 Department of Defense civilian employees. Additionally, there were a total of 57,792 reservists and guardsmen in California. In 2010, Los Angeles County was the largest origin of military recruits in the United States by county, with 1,437 individuals enlisting in the military. However, as of 2002, Californians were relatively underrepresented in the military as a proportion to its population. In 2000, California, had 2,569,340 veterans of United States military service, 504,010 served in World War II, 301,034 in the Korean War, 754,682 during the Vietnam War, and 278,003 during 1990-2000 including the Persian Gulf War. As of 2010, there were 1,942,775 veterans living in California, of which 1,457,875 served during a period of armed conflict, 
and just over 4,000 served before World War II, the largest population of this group of any state. California's military forces consist of the Army and Air National Guard, the Naval and State Military Reserve, Militia, and the California Cadet Corps. Ideology California has an idiosyncratic political culture compared to the rest of the country, and is sometimes regarded as a trendsetter. In socio-cultural mores and national politics, Californians are perceived as more liberal than other Americans, especially those who live in the inland states. Among the political idiosyncrasies and trendsetting, California was the second state to recall their state governor, the second state to legalize abortion, and the only state to ban marriage for gay couples twice by voters, including Proposition 8 in 2008. Voters also passed Proposition 71 in 2004 to fund stem cell research, and Proposition 14 in 2010 to completely change the state's primary election process. California has. Please subscribe and thanks for watching.